Why I say this is because it gets worse. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Gif and I'm a nursing student. I just completed my first year in Government Care University and come to my channel. So guys, I'm finally done with my first year in uni. I'm so excited. And before we move on, today's shout out goes to Stacy Aries, thank you for your love and support on my channel. I appreciate it. So to get a shout out, first thing you need to do is to subscribe, turn on your post notification, and be the first to comment on my video. Time went by really fast. And also, I'm grateful I was able to attend classes on campus. Classes were online and some of my classes were on campus. I know of some other students from another from different uni which they didn't have the opportunity to have classes on campus, they had it all online. So I'm kind of grateful I was able to come to uni. But even though COVID had to ruin our experience, because college had many more things, you know, but there were a lot of restrictions, there were a lot of, you know, cancelled ceremonies, ceremonies and stuff. But it's all good. On the bright side, I had a refreshing and nice experience for my freshman year i met a lot of good people i had good food <laughs> i went to fun places and i mean it was just it was an okay experience but there are five things i wish i knew before starting out and i feel like i need to share this with you guys because there are new students that will be coming in for their freshman year I think it's September, right? Yeah. So I hope this video helps you. Continue to watch this video to the end and get all the juicy, juicy tip. And at the end, there'll be a bonus tip. So watch this video to the end. So my first tip is good communication skills. Guys, this point is very important. I did not know I am an introvert, so I am not really good at communicating, like saying hi to people or, you know, talking in front of a large group of people. I know you might say, Oh, but you're a YouTuber, why can't you? You have a large audience, you're talking to people every day. No, it's different. I mean, talking to you guys, I'm not looking straight into your eyes. I'm looking at the camera, so it's very different. and. If you are also an introvert, you will find this easy. So it's also, it's very good to have this in mind before coming that you would have to talk, you would have presentations, you have to meet people, you have to talk to professors. Really, if you're in the medical field, like for me, I'm, in, I'm a nurse student, we had practicals, we had to go meet patients in the hospital. And this skill is very important because you'll be talking to patients, you'll be talking to doctors, you'll be talking to your healthcare, other healthcare professionals, and you won't want to, you know, you want to mess it up. Have this in mind and try to improve yourself before starting out to your knee. One thing that helped me with my communication skill was joining lots of activities in uni. But now, because of COVID restrictions, you might not have the opportunity to, you know, explore and join more activities. Like for me, I wanted to join the football team because I love playing football as a sport. Because of COVID rules and stuff, all gaming activities were cancelled. But I was able to join, you know, clubs that had meetings online, like the language club, the video making club. These will help you to meet people and when you're in a group with people you'll be able to communicate with them and also another thing that helped me improve my communication skill was i was elected as a class representative a leadership responsibility communication is very important for a leader okay so i had to i had to work more on my communication skill 
The next thing I wish I knew before starting out college is proper time management. I know you would say, oh, I've been hearing this, or, oh, I've been hearing this every time, I've been hearing this from different people. Yes, you've been hearing it because it's true, it's real, it's a reality. You need proper time management to do what you have to do because without proper time management, you can't balance your academic life and your social life. Super important in living your college life, like your dream college experience. Studying out, I have a clue, I already knew that, oh, um, I need to manage my time. So I got myself a planner before starting out. I posted a video about my college supplies. I'll put the link up so you can, you know, check it out after this video. So guys, try to work on your time management. Try to get things that will help you for proper time management. Get a planner get an alarm get those apps mobile apps which will help you get yourself a calendar or a journal these will help you it also affected me with my scheduling of youtube videos because there were some days i couldn't post videos in the time i promised i'll post which was bad of me because of my it was as a result of my improper time managing skills so you see that this is very important for you in college. You need to work on this in order to do things you would love to do. Hopefully I will work on that. I'm not perfect yet. I'm still working on it. The third thing I wish I knew before starting out is finding which study method works for me. There are different methods of studying. There are different studying techniques. There is visual learning, there is, you know, writing things down while studying, there is re-watching recorded lectures, um, there is, you know, watching YouTube videos of other, of other professors recording it, and there is just reading slides. What worked for me, I found in between, because I didn't know from the beginning what was my study technique. Um, but later I figured out it was writing things down because I explored all the options I had and I found out that the writing method worked better for me and I kind of regret not finding that out way before starting out. Uh, so you need to know what would work for you, what is easier for you to comply with, what would give you the best result. So you have to explore all the options you have and pick the best one. The fourth thing I wish I knew before starting out college is your grades don't define you. This quote, I keep hearing it every time and I came to realize it in college, that your grades don't define you. I'm a kind of person that, you know, I get bothered by my grades, I overthink it, I try to to do my best and you know get good grades in college you find out that things might not go as planned you might not get the results you were expecting and you know don't get disappointed don't get discouraged that you didn't get the type of grades you expected you didn't get the type of grades you worked for because Everything is an experience. Everything is a way for you to learn and improve on yourself. Even though I say your grades don't define you, this doesn't mean you shouldn't work harder. This doesn't mean you shouldn't work on yourself. This doesn't mean you shouldn't strive to get the best result. Because you need to also, you need to know that from the beginning of your semester, you need to work harder because it comes easier in the beginning and when it when it comes easier why i say this is because it gets worse recently when i was studying for my final exams i was looking back at the things we learned previously because for final exams we have everything together from the beginning of the second semester so i was reading the lectures which i had previous tests on and i was like what the hell this is easy why did i fail it in the beginning and that is how it is that is how it feels you have to like study from the beginning study 
while you still have large energy study while you're still motivated because at that moment it's better it's way easier as time goes on your workload increases as time goes on your exams becomes more difficult as time goes on the content and the lectures becomes more difficult to understand and requires more hard work for you failing an exam or a test that doesn't mean you're a failure that doesn't mean college is not meant for you that doesn't mean your program or your course you're doing is not meant for you no when you fail or when you don't do so well in your exam try to find out what went wrong try to improve yourself change your study techniques change your way of studying look at your schedule look at your time management look at your planning look for what went wrong and you know try to do better next time you would have other chances you definitely have other opportunities or try to make use of and you know take advantage of that and do better work harder don't just dwell on your mistakes don't dwell on your fails don't you know there's a quote that says success is not giving up not staying in the same position not staying this not, not staying the way you are I had the same issue too i always worried about my grades if even when i didn't do that bad like everyone would say it's not that bad but i would still feel like oh why am i failing no i should get better i worked hard i did this i did that i still haven't perfected this yet but as time goes on i'll work on that and you know follow the phrase that says your grades don't define you my fifth tip and what i wish i knew before coming is finding my way of distressing you need to find your distress mechanism what do i mean by distress mechanism what can you do when you're feeling overwhelmed what can you do when you are super stressed what can you do to relieve your stress what can you do to motivate yourself what can you do to make yourself feel happy and not just keep sulking and you know being moody in college what do you do to you know satisfy yourself and make yourself feel good this is important find out this before coming into college because there'll be times where you feel down there'll be times where you feel overwhelmed and you just need something to lift your mood lift your spirit make you feel good make you feel happy i have three ways of distressing for me that personally work for me the first thing that helps me distress is trusting god this is a large large huge huge method of distressing because when you trust in god you automatically don't have any fear you believe everything is in his hands his plans everything is going according to everything will go according to his plans and we all know his plans are good and not of evil will we would you know do good and we would not fail his eyes of protections are with us all these things would you know lift your spirit will help you increase your faith and you won't you won't be worried in college and not just for distressing in everything i do in college i make sure my trust is in god and everything is in his hands everything is under control through god another thing that helps me distress is watching korean dramas oh my god you guys one of the things that made me happy in college is watching korean dramas if you're a korean drama fan let's gather here gather in the comment section let me know your favorite korean drama and let me know if you want drama recommendations i'll leave some in the comment i watch k-dramas they help me distress they make me forget about anything like i do not when I'm watching a Korean drama, I do not think of anything. I do not remember any stress at all, which is very good because this is what you want to, you know, clear your mind from stress, clear your mind from work, and, you know, just de-stress yourself. 
relax and you know make yourself feel good the third thing I do to de-stress is listening to good music. Good music helps so much because you, especially good music with good lyrics, you feel it through your soul, you feel it through your mind, it makes you feel good. So you listen to good music, inspirational songs, gospel songs, songs that will make you lift your spirit and make you feel good. There are other ways of be stressing like exercising doing yoga hanging out with friends you know um, watching movies series doing other stuff it's always good to do this in between your chaotic college life because you need time for yourself you need time for self-care you can't just have work and work and work but I'm not saying you should spend all your time doing this this is for when you take breaks and when you feel overwhelmed because when you are overwhelmed, when you are oversaturated, you won't be able to study. Trust me. You might be reading the slides, but nothing is going here. It's a waste of time. So when you feel like this, when you feel oversaturated, when you feel like nothing is coming in, when you feel like what you're studying isn't sinking, get yourself one of your distressing mechanism. If it's music, listen to music. If it's movie, watch a movie. But well, make sure you time yourself. This is where time management comes in. When you are able to schedule your timing, you would be able to do your work effectively and still have fun. I'm not saying you have to be perfect in all these things I have said. No, you can still work on it gradually, even as you come into college. I am still working on it. Other, many other students are still working on this. So don't feel bothered by it. Don't feel burdened and don't say, oh, I can go to college if I don't have these five things gift set. No, you can always, you can still, you can still work on these even coming into college. It's not something you have to do in a one, it's not a one day thing. My bonus tip, my final bonus tip is stay positive. Have a positive mindset and, you know, stay happy be hopeful believe that all things will turn out for the best all things will work out for you and this mindset will keep you going it will make you enjoy your college life even despite anything that is going on covid restrictions we have come to the end of today's video i thank you so much for watching to the end I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found this video helpful. If you know any new incoming college students coming to freshman year, send this video to them and help us all today. Also guys, I've been thinking to change my timing for posting video. I'm thinking of having it a Thursday. Let me know what you think. Thursday or Saturday, which, uh, which one are you cool with? I'm thinking of moving it to Thursday. So let me know in the comment section. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and feel free to give me video ideas that you would like to see, videos you would love to see on this channel. I will be happy to make them. Thank you for watching. Bye.